So, okay, that's why, I mean, today we've spent, you know, many hours in Sibri province, you mm -hmm. know, visiting different temples, you know, from the morning to the afternoon to the evening. And now we are in the city. But what, uh, you know, sparks my, you know, interest is that I see a very, you know, popular stream over here called the Sibri stream. But I don't really know where it comes from, you know, first of all. I mean, I, I was informed that it was actually a canal, you know, not, not really a nat natural stream at all. So can you tell me a bit about the history of this stream because you live here? Mm, let me think about it a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, Simriap has a very long and extraordinary history of arts and temples. Mm -hmm. But beside all of those ancient monuments, there's another significant, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, there's another magnificent element which is often overlooked. Guess what? What, what is that? Waterways. So what, what about the waterway? Oh, it flows in and out of the city and among all the water sources in Siem Reap, uh, the stream flows from the top of Kulain Mountain. Uh, that is one of the main supplier. And then it reached to the uh, Tunle Sap Lake at mm -hmm. the end of its course. So it moved from the Kulain Mountain, passing through the city and yes. then moving to the uh, Tunle Sap Lake. Yeah. So when was it? created then? Um, as I remember, it was from the 9th and 15th centuries. Uh, you know, it was believed to be secret for people and the king. Mm -hmm. And, you know, presently the stream offer a very aesthetic look mm -hmm. for, you know, the whole city here in Siem Reap. And there's also a lot of events that will be held here every, uh, you know, national on national holidays. Yeah. You know, during, let's say, national holidays in Cambodia, you know, Chum Ban Day, Khmer New Year, or, you know, the Water Festival, I mean, what are the activities that people usually do, you know, to attract tourists uh, at the same day stream? Oh, along the stream here, uh, you know, during the Khmer Festival, uh, some Kran was being held here, and there's a lot of small, uh, you know, activities mm -hmm. uh, around the city like uh, there's also a boat race along the river mm -hmm. uh, food stalls setting up a uh, local exhibition locals uh, mm -hmm. you know the products that were handmade by locals here mm -hmm. and beside that there's also a small activities mm -hmm. uh, that are being held here you know like uh, the river festival that was being held here recently mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's also a boat racing along the river mm -hmm. and art performance and there's a lot more and you know on like regular day like today as you can see there's many people like locals here hanging out uh, as a couple or families or like most of local here usually uh, they go on exercising mm -hmm. along the stream and yeah so that's why i mean uh, for those for example you know those who visited uncle temple already or you know the stream already is there anything else that you know people can do in the city or maybe a bit further than the city sure I mean, first of all, if you're in the town, you might want to go for a, uh, you know, the giant wheel ride, mm -hmm. uh, which is called uh, Uncle Ai. It's about like a hundred meters high. Yeah, uh, maybe perhaps if you're hungry in the afternoon, you might want to go visit. You might want to maybe pass or maybe you pass by the but at that village. You can go try out uh, the Khmer food or Khmer dessert, which is called Nong Ma Gao, Nong Ban Chok. And one more thing, uh, for those who prefer the, uh, you know, natural, uh, mm -hmm. outdoor relaxing, or maybe they want to know, uh, study more about those uh, plants from the Uncle Archaeological Park, uh, they can go to visit the uh, Botanical Garden. Uh, you know, I mean the Uncle Botanical Garden, uh, where there's a lot of plants from uh, the Uncle Park there. And perhaps maybe if you're seeking for an adrenaline activities, you might want to go for quad biking or maybe perhaps like zip lining through the jungles mm -hmm. or you might want to go to see the floating village at Kampong Plok. And you can also go camping at the uh, Kulain Mountain National Park. And there's a lot more, but you should try it out. Oh, I forgot one more thing, the museums. There's a national museum, you know, the Mines Museum here and plenty of museums here where you might want to go to tour around. Mm -hmm. Okay.
jalan, program 